came down in his suit with his jacket off, and he just sat there and he lit a cigarette and he waited. And what did you do? I waited, and we had this awkward period just to, waiting for my dad to talk first because he always does. Eventually, I realized he wasn't, and so I just sort of went ahead with what I had planned to say. That I knew everything that was going on between him and Eric, and that it had to stop and that it had to end and that I didn't want to disrupt the family and I wasn't going to tell anybody. There had to be some changes. If I had to, we would come out of the house. We would leave the house if he didn't want us to live there, but that we wanted to live there for now. And I wanted to take Eric to Princeton with me and then maybe transfer to UCLA. This had to happen and that uh, I meant it. He didn't say anything. He was looking around the room. He had his cigarette lit. I remember he was playing with his ear. He didn't look at me at all. At some point I realized I had finished saying what I was saying and I stopped. We had another silence. But at some point he asked me if I was finished. I said that I was. His legs were crossed. He put his cigarette out and he started talking. He just said, you listen to me. What I do with my son is none of your business. I warn you, don't throw your life away. Just stay out of it. Let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going back to Princeton, and your brother's going to UCLA like we planned, and we're going to forget this conversation ever took place. I interrupted him. He didn't get to finish talking. I swore and told him he was a fucking sick person, and I told him no, and that he wasn't going to touch my brother again, and I threatened him. I told him I would tell everybody everything about him. I would tell the police, and that I would tell the family. I was yelling. I may have said some more things and swore at him or something. I was losing control of the conversation. I had a feeling it wasn't going to go well. I also was bracing myself for a punch or something physical. It seemed like he was going to do that when I uh, was saying those things to him. I don't think anybody had ever spoken to him like that in his whole life. I had lost control. My brother and I had discussed me not threatening him, and I didn't really think that I was going to have to. And I ended up just doing it, and uh, that was a mistake. He seemed like he was going to uh, attack me in some way. Or, I don't know, he was leaning forward. His legs are uncrossed. After I threatened him, his demeanor changed pretty drastically. He sort of relaxed, he sat back, and he just sort of looked at me, and that made me stop. And then he said, we all make choices in life, son. Eric made his, and you've made yours. And then he just looked at me, and he got up to leave. I thought, oh, my God, he thinks... I'm going to tell people. I knew what he was thinking, and I started pleading with him before he left. I got up and said, Dad, I'm only going to tell people if you don't stop touching Eric, if it doesn't stop. And uh, he just looked at me and said, you're going to tell everyone anyway. And he left. And I sat back down, thinking that it was a disaster. I had just made it a hundred times worse. I thought we were in danger. I thought he felt he had no choice. But to what? That he would kill us, that he would get rid of us in some way. Why? because he thought I was going to ruin him. And he was going to tell my mother what I said. I knew immediately what her reaction would be. You can never let that happen to us. What do you mean, to never let that happen to us? Well, their image was their life. That's how I felt, especially about my mother. I thought afterwards exactly what my dad was thinking that I was going to do, because I would never have ever told anybody. But I did make that threat, and I think he just felt that maybe my own stuff with him, or I was trying to get revenge or something. Why do you say you wouldn't have ever told anybody? I would not have done that to him. I would never have told people. It was really an idle threat. I never had thought about telling people. I didn't know who I was going to tell. I wasn't going to tell the police. I wasn't going to tell relatives. I would have taken my brother out of the house before I had this conversation, but uh, I wouldn't have just told people.